Meantime, Russ Smith is a guy who's on my Facebook. And uh, he's on my, I don't, I don't know how he found out about the Facebook. I don't know if he listens to the show every day. I don't, I don't know what the story is. But when the Zimmerman uh, slash Martin case happened, George Zimmerman, the self-appointed captain of the Neighborhood Watch in, in Sanford, Florida, in a gated community, um, identified Trayvon Martin, a 17-year-old visiting from the Miami area, visiting his father who was staying with his the fiance, the father's fiance, inside the gated community. When Zimmerman saw this guy, um, as per the nine one nine one nine one one call, the dispatch call, it was a non emergency call. He identified him as uh, as uh, somebody who's uh, looks suspicious, somebody who is uh, doesn't belong here, somebody who there's something wrong with him. He's on drugs. He said all these things on the tape. I'm not putting any words in his mouth. This is what Zimmerman said. So Zimmerman clearly identified this guy as a bad guy who was on drugs and wasn't supposed to be there. It's seven o'clock at night. When clearly now we know that uh, Martin was supposed to be there. He was invited. He was welcomed. He just left the gated community to get some Skittles and a nice tea. Um, at, at, at one point, Martin asks Zimmerman, why are you following me? Zimmerman says, what are you doing here? At one point, Zimmerman says on the phone call to the police, he says he's running, and then you hear Zimmerman running after him. Police, uh, the, the dispatcher says, are you following him? He says, yes. Dispatcher says, okay, we don't need you to do that. So I formed my opinion that the, the actions of George Zimmerman that night precipitated the death of, of, uh, of this guy Martin, Trayvon Martin. If not for Zimmerman making the, the assumptions that he did, if not for Zimmerman taking the actions that he did, none of what ended up happening at the, at, at the end of this, uh, this event that night would have happened. Zimmerman was the cause and then the effect happened. That's what I believe. Now, many people, oh, you're not conservative. I can't believe you're siding with Al Sharpton. No, I think Al Sharpton is a race baiter and a piece of garbage. I think that he should not be somebody who's a civil rights leader. I don't think he's a leader of anybody. I think that Spike Lee's a piece of crap for tweeting the, the address that he thought George Zimmerman lived at. By the way, it wasn't even Zimmerman's address. It was somebody else's address. Okay, I think the new Black Panther Party should be arrested for putting out a bounty on George Zimmerman. I think Zimmerman had every right to carry that weapon. I think that the Second Amendment means something, and I am very pro-gun. So either Russ didn't understand what I wrote in my blog and what I've said about this case, or he just was listening to a couple of other uh, you know, loud voices on my Facebook and made some assumptions himself. So I asked Russ to come on the program, and I said I'd give him 60 solid seconds to explain himself and tell me where I'm wrong about this. Russ, you're on, my friend, 60 seconds from right now. Hey, Joe, how are you doing today? I appreciate uh, you taking my call. I'm living the dream. You're very welcome. I'm not going to charge this against you, but I don't have a lot of time, so I want to give you 60 seconds, and I don't want to say anything. So go ahead and go from now. Okay, as, as I pointed out in the Facebook page originally, I'm going to quote exactly uh, your point because I don't want to be accused of uh, mischaracterizing what you said. Uh, so quoting from your blog, there are many angles to this story, and I'm firm in my very simple belief that the shooter, George Zimmerman, should have been charged in the death. Those are your words from your blog. They're not my own, Okay. My disagreement has been with you all along over that statement. From the beginning, my position, as I explained, is I disagree, and I feel you're wrong, uh, and I stated clearly and succinctly how the criminal justice system works, and I even provided you my credentials, uh, which you in turn claim played no bearing in my opinion, when in fact they actually are the basis for my opinion. Uh, my concern is is the rush to make the arrest. Now, we can talk semantics. Charge, now, here's the problem, Russ. Arrest. Stop, because okay. that's 60 seconds. I just gave you a minute, didn't say a damn word. I mean, I don't know if you're talking slowly. If you normally talk slowly like this, I talk kind of fast. 60 so you're seconds, not finish, 60 See, seconds is, is an eternity. Point. Russ, stop speaking now, because I just gave you the 60, and, and I asked you to go ahead and say whatever you wanted to say. You spent the 60 setting the whole thing up, which was a waste of your time. Now, I'm going to give you a little more time here, but I have to go to the break at the top of the hour. Now, I'm going to give you another 30, and I won't say a damn word. Either tell me where I'm wrong in my opinion that because of the precipitation by Zimmerman that night, his incorrect assumptions about Trayvon Martin, I think he should have been charged with negligent homicide or negligent manslaughter because of the information that we know now. As more information comes in, I will, I will clearly reform my opinion or adjust my opinion. But George Zimmerman, even today... I think he should face that charge. And by the way, the Sanford Police Department also believed that he should have faced that charge. The DA just decided not to do it. I'll give you 30 more. Go. Okay, and, and you've admitted that 
in your update yesterday. But here's the issue, and my point has been all along. Once he's arrested and charged, the clock starts. Okay, so then you have the speedy trial issues and guarantees that come up. The DA has a limited amount of time to get the case to court and present it, or then the defense attorney can then begin making motions in court that the DA is in violation of the speedy trial guarantee. So my whole point being is we need to slow this thing down and not rush to conclusions. Let the criminal justice system run its course. And that's been my position all along, Joe. I just and gave you another 45. It. I gave you a minute 45 unencumbered without me okay. interrupting you. And let me tell you why you're wrong. The okay. district attorney in this case rejected charges. They said no. There was not going to be a trial. There was not going to be a grand jury. There wasn't going to be anything. The police department wanted him charged because of what he did that night. The, the, the DA said no. It was done. The case was closed in Sanford and Seminole County. Thank God voices like mine were raised. And now the state of Florida is conducting an independent investigation. And it's my hope that the right thing will happen here. Do I want George Zimmerman convicted? No, and I made that very clear. I want him charged. I want him to go through the system. I want him to face a jury of his peers, and if they exonerate him and find him not guilty, I'm fine with that. If they find him guilty, I'm fine with that if the, if the evidence shows so. Your problem is you're assuming that the DA was still investigating and that they were going to get to that point. Russ, they were never going to get to that point. They ended the discussion. It was over. You get it? But, Joe, it's still... Do you get it or not? I'm already past no, my break. No, you, you Do you get it or not? Have to I gave you two full minutes. No, it can't jury, be presented Joe. before a grand jury because See, the DA Joe. said no. Okay. The yeah, DA said gonna, no, Russ. So you're not going to let me... I gave you... You've been on the line now for four and a half minutes. Okay, fine. Four and a half but minutes on the air. Me, I've been... I've been, exactly, I've been I'll put you on hold. I, I, I gave you exactly what I promised, plus another whole minute. I've been overtly fair to you. You're just the guy who can't handle the fact that I disagree with you. That's all you are. I listened to you. I got you. You're absolutely dead wrong that the grand jury was ever going to hear this or that the prosecutor in Seminole County was ever going to hear this. You are wrong, Russ, and that's okay. You're allowed to be. I gave you two full minutes to, to, to correct me, and you weren't able to do so. I'm glad you called in. I will, I will unban you from the Facebook now. Feel free to go back on there. But as far as this discussion goes, you didn't show me anything. My opinion is exactly what it was before, but I appreciate you calling in and manning up and not hiding behind the uh, anonymity of the, of the Internet.